Hello friends, welcome to GoHire. Today we are going to discuss a problem. The problem given is you have in a building with n staircases. You can take jump off one or two staircases at a time and you need to reach to the nth staircase. In how many unique ways you can reach to this nth staircase? Example given is if n is equal to 4, you can reach into this 5 unique ways. 1, 1, 1, 1. That means you climb one step each time or 2 1 1 that means you take first jump of two staircases and then take one jump and another jump so in this way there are five unique ways furthermore we are going to extend this question if you have been given one three and five staircases to be jumped that means you can jump only one or three or five steps at a time then in how many ways it can be done so let's start problem with very base case which is n equal to 1. When there is only one staircase and you need to jump, there is only possible one way that you are standing at a ground floor and you can jump with just one way and will further move for n equals to 2. Now when you are at n equals to 2, that means you want to jump from the ground floor to 2. One way is easily that you can climb to 1 and another is again you jump to the second one. So one way is that you take first staircase and then another because there is only one or two jumps are allowed at a time. Another one is you can reach to 2 directly with another jump. So you can see that when you are at 0, you can either go to 1 and then reach to 2 or you can directly reach to 2. So there are two possible ways. When you are at 3, you need to think little bit reverse that when I want to jump to 3 from ground floor, how can I reach to the third? Now as we have been given only one jump at a time and two jump at a time, you can understand that to reach to 3, you can either take one jump so if you have to take just one jump, you can take a jump from two and you can reach over here or you can take a jump from one of two. So if you are taking a jump of two from one, then you can reach to three. And if you are taking a jump of one, then you need to be at level two. So that means to reach to three, either you need to be present at one or you need to be present at and then with just one jump. So this is a jump with just one jump you can reach to 3. So we understood that to reach to 3, you need to be either at 2 or 1. So to reach to 3, we need to be at either 2 or 1. And with just one jump extra, we can reach to the solution. That means total number of ways to reach to 3 will be the summation of total number of ways to reach to 2 plus total number of ways to reach to 1. Next, n equals to 4. As you can take only two jumps, 1 or 2, you can take either from 3 or from 2. To reach to 3, again there can be a sub problem which we discussed over here. And to reach to 2, again there can be a sub problem which we discussed over here. So we understand that to reach to 4, you need to be present at 3 or you need to be present at 2. And that's why total number of ways to reach to 4 will be the total number of ways to reach to 3 plus total number of ways to reach to 2. In general, if we write this equation, it can be written as number of ways to reach at n is equal to number of ways to reach at n minus 1 plus number of ways to reach at n minus 2. Understand that this minus 1 and minus 2 are the possible way of jumps which was given to you 1 and 2. Also, if we want to extend this for 1, 2 and 3, we can directly understand that these are 1, 2 and 3 possible ways if the jumps are given 1, 2 and 3. Generalizing equation f of n number of ways to reach to the nth staircase is f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. And if 1, 3 and 5 steps are allowed, the same equation can be written as number of ways to reach to n is equal to number of ways to reach n minus 1 plus n minus 3 and plus n minus 5th. Let's code it. Writing the recursive formula into a code will be very much easy. You are writing a function number of ways and returning the value of number of ways n minus 1 plus number of ways n minus 2. Now when we have n is equal to 0 or 1, we know that there is only one way to reach to 0 or to reach to 1. So keeping those as in a base case, we are moving further. We can easily write this equation. Now you see that over here we have written number of ways recursive function n minus 1 plus n minus 2 because there is only two ways are allowed. So instead of that, let's say 1, 2 and 3 are given. We need to iterate over 1, 2 and 3 and we need to add all of those values which are returned and returned to the main function. Let's say you have been given 1, 3 and 5 jumps. Then how will you write the code? The base condition will be if n is less than or equal to 0, you are returning 0. Total number of ways will be 0. Now as I said, we have to iterate over the possible ways. 
n minus 1 and n minus 2. We have to iterate over 1, 3 and 5. So we can write it down as for i is equal to 0 to i less than s length i plus plus and iterating it over number of ways n minus i. So we can reach to n minus 1, n minus 3 and n minus 5. Now instead of that if it would be 1 and 2 you would have the same equation of returning total with number of ways n minus 1 plus number of ways n minus 2. So the same function has been created. Now we understood that in a very easy way that when we are iterating over just n minus 1, n minus 2 and if we create a graph out of it of recursive calls we can see that for n equals to 4 we are calling for n equals to 3 and n equals to 2 then n equals to 3 again calls for n equals to 2 and n equals to 1. Now you see that we have already called for n equal to 2 and again we are calling for n equals to 2. So number of recursive calls are unnecessary because again for n equals to 2 n equals to 1 and 0 will be called which already have been called. So what we can do is we can store this result which is already computed and put it into the array and then we can reuse it so that whenever we call any recursive function we can see that whether it's already been calculated or not. If it is already calculated we reuse it and we move further. So writing down the equation into this way the number of ways function n in number of ways we have created an array to store the result and iterating over it with a bottom up manner. Bottom up manner is this way we have one and one base case created for n equals to 0 and 1 and we know number of ways of n equals to 2 is number of ways n equals to 1 plus n equals to 0. So that's why we have directly result so we'll add those both and we'll store it over here. So you can see that for 2 we'll call the number of ways array result which have been stored for 2 minus 1 1 which is this and 2 minus 2 0 which is this. Those addition will be stored for n equals to 2 which holds true we know that 1 1 and directly jump 2 is the result for n equals to 2. Now in the same way for n equals to 3 we know that we need to call for 2 and 1 as we can see that into this one the same one we will reuse it because the 1 and 2 have already been computed we will reuse it so you can see that for i equals to 3 again it will go for 3 minus 1 2 plus number of ways 3 minus 2 1 so number of ways of 2 plus number of ways of 1 will be added and will be stored it into number of arrays 3 and so on what if we have 1 3 and 5 jumps allowed in that case again as we see that over here we are iterating for two things jumps allowed 1 and 2 we are iterating over both the things then we need to iterate the number of possible jumps as well and the total array as well so we need to write a function in which there will be two for loops one for number of ways of jump and another is on the total array so we'll move further and we'll write it down the same function so for i equals to 1 to i less than n i plus plus now we need to iterate over the 1 3 and 5 as well so we'll write it down the function for j equals to 0 to j less than s length j plus plus the way we have done over here i minus 1 and i minus 2 because the total number of ways we need to find it out so this i holds for n and n minus 1 n minus 2 we are doing and this is our array in different this case so over here what it will be i minus j so total will be number of ways of i minus j the way we have explained for the previous slide 